What is up, guys? It's Ganzor, and it's 10 o'clock. I don't know why I waited this long to do this video. There's my carpet. There's my lamp. My picture. My Halo picture and my my monitor. Hey, look, it's Tim again. Man, he's he's in like all of my videos. I swear, it's I'm not doing it on purpose. Um, I don't know why I'm looking around my room. Anyways, uh, I got a package in the mail uh, today that I've been waiting for and that you guys have probably been waiting for for a while. And it looks like this. It's a little brown box, right? But it's not about the box, it's about what's inside the box. So I'll go ahead and open it up. Based on this, you can probably guess what it is. Uh, I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Probably gonna fail though. I'm gonna set the camera right here, prop it up. I don't know if you can see that, but there we go. Cut that open. Cut that open. I need to sharpen my knife because it is not doing a very good job. That's close enough. All right. Uh, I'm gonna set you back down one more time to open this. Alrighty, so what do we got in this open box? Well, first of all, we've got a bunch of these things that my siblings like to jump on and scare the crap out of me with. We've got a piece of paper. I don't know what it says. It's probably my receipt. I'm not going to open that right now. And we've got this little itty bitty box. And what this box says is... Let me focus the camera. Wireless accessory kit. Wacom. So this is it. This is the ACK40401. Designed for uh, the Intuos and the Intuos Pro models. And I believe the Bamboo Creative. Um, it says, Enjoy the freedom of wireless. Quickly and easily convert to wireless with the Wacom Wireless Accessory Kit. And then a bunch of other stuff that you don't need to know. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. Is there more tape? There's more tape. So, I'll open this again. And I'll set you down one more time. Well, without knocking the camera over. I'll just... Man, I really need to sharpen this. Oh well, I'll do that later. Alright. <clears throat> so we're gonna pop the bottom. Yeah, we're gonna pop the bottom off like this. And then open it up. And there it is. That's the battery. And then the USB and the internal piece, right? So we'll take these out. There's probably some instructions for installation in here, but I already know how to install it. So I'll just take those and throw it over there. And I'll take that, throw it over there too. We don't need the box anymore. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tablet, this piece, don't need that anymore. Uh, actually I do, that's how you charge it, but I'll get to that in a second. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tablet, this is the Intuos uh, Pen & Touch Small, it's the Minga Edition, doesn't change anything except for the software that comes with it. So the Pen & Touch Small, the Pen & Touch Medium, the Pen Small, and the Minga are all going to be the same as this. <clears throat> the uh, Intuos Pro and the Bamboo, I don't know how those work. So this is only for the Intuos uh, Pen and Touch and the Intuos Pen models. But what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over. And then you're going to take, let me refocus, this little corner piece, there's a little grippy thing here. If you just press up on it, you can pull this off, right? And on the same side, or on the, the same thing on this side, you press up and you can pull that off, right? <clears throat> so simple enough. Battery goes here. So let's take the battery. And let's open that up. We're going to take where this gold matches up, right? And we're just going to take the gold. Let me refocus. There we go. Where the gold matches up. We're going to take it and slide it in like this, and then press it down on this side, right? And it'll just lock into place right there. <clears throat> and then for these pieces, um, 
Uh oh. Have we got tape? Yep, it's taped. Let me open that real quick. There we go. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna drop that piece out. Drop that piece out. So this piece is the USB port part that whoops, let me refocus. There we go. Nope, that made it even worse. There we go. This is the USB part that you'll plug into your actual computer. It's, I believe, 3.0, but it is also 2.0 compatible. And then this piece is the part that goes on the inside of your tablet. It almost looks like mini HDMI. Let me refocus. It's not focusing. It's not going to focus, is it? There we go. It almost looks like mini uh, HDMI, but I don't believe that it is. Uh, what does this say on it? It's stuff in a different language. Whatever, it doesn't play to us. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over to this side, take this piece, match it up just like this so that the shape is the same, right? And you're going to slide it this part right here. You're going to take out somehow. Mm, let's see. I don't know how that slides out. Uh, it's supposed to come out. Ah, there you go. All right. So you just pull down like this so that it looks like that. And then you're going to slide it out. All right. Kind of just pops out. It's a little, little piece that says Wacom on the back. All right. So we'll just take that piece and set it off to the side. And then we'll take our piece. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it right in top and just slide it in and then lock it into place, right? And then this next slot over is actually for storing the USB in. So I believe we'll do the same thing. Just push this down. Or no, this part pops out. It's kind of like an old school phone charger, right? And then what you can do is you can take your USB thing and slide it right in there, whenever you want to store it. Oh, this is difficult with one hand. Let me use my, use my leg to study this. All right, what's going wrong? Something is not right. Let's look at this. Pinky, and then oh, come on. There we go. All right, so there's a certain direction that it has to face, but then it'll just close back, and you can keep your USB in there. Let me pull it out for now. All right. So now what we're going to do, we've got the wireless chip installed on this side. We've got the battery installed on this side. So what you want to do is you want to take your top pieces, just set it back on top and slide it back into place. Same thing on this side. Set it back on top, slide it into place. Now we can flip our tablet back over. All right, so we've got the USB part. We'll use that later. This is the back piece that used to be where the wireless kit is now. Uh, we don't need it anymore. So I'll just save that. And that's fuzz. We don't need fuzz either. So with the wireless kit, what it has is, if my camera will ever focus, there we go. So what it has, oh, it's out of focus again. Ah. Uh, Oh, come on, just 
please, please work with me. Oh boy, there we go. Alright, so it's got power right here. So this is the power on and off button for it. And you see I pressed it, and now it's glowing. Right? It's on. So the battery actually came with a charge. Is the touch working? Is my touch even on? No. Alright, so we've got here the on-off switch. On. Off. Right. And then to charge it, you just plug it back in here. Then to get the USB out, or put it back in, you can just take your fingernail right here, and pop this open, and then it'll just slide right in there for a nifty storage. So the only thing that I need that cable for anymore is for charging the battery. Um, you don't have to take the battery out to charge it. It will charge on its own once you're plugged it in. But that's pretty much the entire installation. So I don't know if it requires different drivers to use the wireless kit. I highly doubt that it does, but it might. Um, so I'll, I'll check that eventually and put it in the comments. Um, so it does work with the CTH, what does this say? CTH480S, the S stands for small. Um, so yeah, see, into a pin and touch small. It absolutely works with this model. The model that I purchased of the battery was... Now I'm going to open up my receipt paper. The model I purchased was the ACK4040... Right. Here, I'll just show you. Uh, let me focus. ACK40401. Uh, I got it at Best Buy. It cost... Um, Oh boy, how much did it cost? I believe it was 40 US dollars. Um, so yeah, definitely works. I'm going to plug it in and test it right now. Maybe make a video or two. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Let me flip it around. There we go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below what I did good or bad in this video, or what you'd like to see in future videos. Um, again, not many people watched the last video I pub last video I published. There you go. Uh, pointing at my computer screen. So uh, what I was talking about is I got a new website set up for Let's Draw and the Let's Draw community. Um, it is community-letsdraw.weebly.com until I can purchase the .com itself. And the second site where I will just be posting my art is art letsdrawweeblycom If you wouldn't mind swinging over and checking those out real quick, I would greatly appreciate it. And then if you could come back here and leave any responses, anything you think I should change or make better, um, I would greatly appreciate that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Till next time, hope this helped you. And Ganzor out.